वेलकम टू द सिक्स लेक्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लेटरल सर्फेसेस नाउ इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्क्वायर प्रिज्म नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पेंटागोनल प्रिज्म नाउ फॉर दैट लेट्स सी द स्टेटमेंट नाउ फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ड्रॉ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लेटरल सर्फेस ऑफ अ पेंटागोनल प्रिज्म व्हिच इज रेस्ट ऑन एचपी विथ इट्स वन ऑफ बेस कॉर्नर एंड वन ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर फेस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द वीपी सो द डायमेंशंस फॉर पेंटागोन इज इट्स बेस साइज 30 mm and axis height is 60 mm now this first statement will indicate there is no any auxiliary inclined plane which is get cut the pentagonal prism now in second statement let's see the second statement draw the development of lateral surface of pentagonal prism which is rest on hp with its one of base corner and cut by aip which is inclined at 35 degree to hp and intersecting the rectangular face which is opposite to resting corner at a distance of 25 mm from base pentagonal prism have base 30 mm and height 60 mm also draw the sectional top view of truncated prism now before going to solve the second statement we are going to solve the first statement now in first statement let's see draw the development of lateral surface of pentagonal prism now we have they are given the pentagonal prism so as we know the top view of pentagonal prism is a pentagon and front view of a prism is always a rectangle now which is rest on hp with its one of base corner okay so the pentagonal prism is rest on its corner on hp and its one of rectangular face is perpendicular to the vp so the another rectangular face is perpendicular to the vp so the dimension of pentagonal is 30 mm base size and axis height 60 mm now let's see we have some these orientations of the pentagons first second third and fourth now let's see here this x x dash will denote the reference line and all these are the top view of a pentagonal prism now let's see the first figure in first figure this pentagon is rest on hp by its corner and the another one is let's see this is the edge or the rectangular face now this rectangular face is parallel to the vp this is resting on corner and one of the rectangular face is parallel to the vp and let's see this is the another corner which is away okay sorry towards the observer so the description of this position is what it's resting on hp on one of its corner rectangular face parallel to vp and adjacent corner to resting corner is towards the observer so this is the description of this first position now let's see here the second position now in second position this pentagon is rest on hp by its corner and its one of rectangular face is again parallel to the vp so description is what and let's see the another thing the adjacent corner to the resting corner is away from the observer so this is towards the observer and this one is away from the observer so description of this diagram is what it's resting on hp on one of its corner then rectangular face is parallel to vp and adjacent corner to resting corner is 
away from observer so this is the description of second position now third position this is the pentagon which is resting on hp by its corner okay and its rectangular face this is the rectangular face which is perpendicular to the vp okay so it's resting on corner and rectangular face is perpendicular to vp then fourth position this pentagon is resting on hp on its rectangular face base h so it's resting on hp by its base edge of one of rectangular face and this base edge is perpendicular to the vp and base edge is perpendicular to the vp so these are the different position of the pentagon now in the statement we required the third position because it's resting on corner and rectangular face is perpendicular to the vp okay so here the statement it's one of the base corner and it's one of rectangular face is perpendicular to the vp so we required third position of the pentagon this is the it's resting on the corner and another rectangular face is perpendicular to the vp so we have to draw this pentagon now for solution what i'm doing draw the reference line x x x x dash now firstly draw the top view with the given dimensions okay so here i had drawn the pentagon of a side 30 mm now give the notations of this pentagon start from the left corner so it's base notations are denoted by alphabets so it's a b c d e and top notations are denoted by the numbers so it's 1 2 3 4 5 now take the projection of all these corners up to the reference line okay here i had take the reference of sorry uh, projection of the this corner points up to the reference line now from beyond reference line we have to draw the front view of a pentagonal prism so as we know the front view of a pentagonal prism is rectangle now here we have to take the height of a rectangle as a 60 mm because in dimensions they give the 60 mm as a axis height so extend this projection line by and distance 6 mm 6 centimeter so it's 6 centimeter now extend this one join this one also join this base edge now give the notations so base notations are denoted by alphabets and as it is the front view so front view is denoted by the numbers and alphabets followed by the dashes so it's a dash b dash now it is c dash e dash then this is d dash now top 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 5 dash and this one is 4 dash so this is the top view and front view of a pentagonal prism of a dimension 30 mm and axis height 60 mm now we have to draw its developed view when it is not cut by any auxiliary inclined plane so it is just simply the rectangle now the length of rectangle it has become the perimeter of a pentagon so each side of pentagon is of 30 mm so it has the five sides so five sides multiply by each side of 30 mm so it's five multiply by 30 so it's become 150 so 150 mm is the perimeter of a pentagon so here by taking some marginable distance 
am marking a one point draw the vertical line of a height 6 mm through this point then take the projection of this vertical edge horizontally now from this point mark distance 15 mm then from again vertical horizontal line mark distance 15 mm join this one now these are the end edges of a pentagon so we have to also draw the edges of a pentagon five edges of a pentagon so from this point mark a distance at a distance 3 then 6 9 12 and this one is the 15 so here I am marking the five edges of a pentagon I give the notations so this is a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and this last one is again a dash now top face notations this one is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and last one is again 1 dash okay now give the dimensions Now this is equal to perimeter it's 5 into 30 so it become 150 now the dimension this is 30 I mentioned this height is 16 so this is the development of a pentagonal prism when it is not cut by any auxiliary inclined plane now in next statement let's see the next statement this same pentagonal prism is get cut by a auxiliary inclined plane now for that we have to check the angular position and vertical position of the auxiliary inclined plane which will cut the pentagonal prism now let's see the statement it cut by an AIP which is inclined at 35 degree to the HP so the AIP is inclined at an angle 35 degree to the HP and intersecting the rectangular face which is opposite to the resting corner okay so this rectangular uh, sorry uh, auxiliary inclined plane inclined at an angle 35 degree to the HP and this auxiliary inclined plane will intersect the rectangular face which is opposite to the resting corner so this one is the resting corner and the opposite rectangular face to this resting corner is what 1 a and 2 b so this line so the projection of this line is this one 1 dash a dash so that aip will intersect this first line vertical line at a distance of 25 mm from a base so it will intersect this edge vertical edge at a distance 25 mm from the base so here i am marking the one point at a distance 2.5 centimeter from the base then draw the horizontal reference line by using a pen pencil now by using this point as a reference point draw a line at an angle 35 degree to the horizontal line so it's 30 now it become 35 degree now join these points and extend the line okay so i think it will cut the upper corner of this pentagonal prism okay now again mark this distance also
this distance is 20 mm and now this is the AIP auxiliary incline plane now its angle is 35 degree to the HP now give the notation to this intersecting points now this is one double dash two double dash this one three double dash five double dash and this four dash is itself four double dash okay so this is the auxiliary incline plane so while drawing the auxiliary incline plane you must have to check these two condition first one the angle of auxiliary incline plane and the vertical position of the auxiliary incline frame plane from the base or maybe from face so in this statement they gives the height of auxiliary incline plane from the base so here i mark the point at a distance 20 mm from the base okay now you have to take the projections of all these points on corresponding vertical lines which in a side view of a developed pentagon now project all those points now this is the 4 dash so this 4 is itself 4 double dash then this is 3 dash and 5 double dash so extend this one up to 3 double dash 5 ok so 3 dash 5 dash then this one 1 dash 2 dash so this is 1 dash 2 dash and 1 dash point will again appear at the last so here I got the points this is P 1 dash then P 2 dash this is P 3 dash that one is P 4 dash this is P 5 dash and this one is again P 1 dash so what next just join all those points by using a line P 1 dash P 2 dash P 2 dash P3 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash, P4 dash, P5 dash, P5 dash, P1 dash, then join this P dash point to the base points P1 dash, P1 dash, P5 dash, PE dash then p4 dash d dash p3 dash c dash p2 dash b dash p1 dash a dash then make this baseline dark then for front view also make this portion dark because this is the remaining portion when you cut the pentagonal prism by an auxiliary inclined plane so make it dark okay now let's see in this statement we also have to draw the sectional top view of a truncated prism now what is my truncated prism when you cut this prism by an auxiliary inclined plane so the whatever be the remaining diagram or the object of that prism is called as a truncated prism now we have to draw the sectional top view now sectional top view or sectional front view or sectional side view we already learned in a orthography projection now we have to only draw the sectional top view so let's see this auxiliary inclined plane will cut this pentagonal plane prism from this corner to this edge so here i have to make it sectional so draw a line at an angle 45 degree by keeping a distance 2 to 3 mm so this is the sectional top view of a pentagonal prism the sectional top view of a pentagonal prison. Thank you for watching the video.